If you're new to the project, a big one welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today's video, we're talking about the poor man's lumber treatment. How can you treat your own lumber at home for free and protect it from water, mold, rot, and bugs? I'm Josh, and this is our daughter, Ivy. I'm Celia, and this is our son, Hamish. Here on Steep in the Woods, we live completely off-grid on a 26-acre homestead nestled deep in the Appalachian Mountains. You'll see no fancy stuff here. It's just making do with what you have and what you can figure out. It is now time to treat our pallets. We are gonna use our super awesome homemade Appalachian red maple, which will not only make them water resistant, but rot and bug resistant as well. What we've done is to stack them in a sunny spot with little pieces of wood in between each pallet to create air flow. And then we also protected them to a greater or lesser degree from the rain. The ones with actual roofs on them are for building our house, and the other ones are for the chicken coop. If done correctly, this Appalachian red maple will not cause any negative environmental effects. Uh, the idea, the most important thing is to dry out your wood as best as possible, as best as you can. That is why we stacked them up and stored them for a, a rather long length of time the way that we did because all of it will soak in and none of it will shed off during rain or just during time. I've just got an old coffee can here and we're gonna go ahead and mix up a fresh batch just for our chicken coop build. There really is no recipe for this. Um, it is just burnt motor oil, presumably that you've gotten out of your own vehicle, uh, you know, and save some money by not, by not paying someone else to do it. And then I know this looks like a regular gas can. It's not, uh, this is diesel. So you just mix the two. Uh, for the bottom half, of, so these, okay, these pallets right here are the ones that are gonna be contacting the ground and from about midway down we're going to paint them and then from midway up and all of the other pallets in this construction we're just going to be spraying them so i think for the for the initial you know the initial batch from you know the, from the middle down towards the ground we're going to add more motor oil and less diesel and then once we get to the upper portions, we'll do more diesel and less motor oil so that it's thinner. The idea of the diesel is just for penetration and for dilution, you know, uh, uh, making it thinner and, uh, and, and easier to spread, more likely to soak in. So motor oil, I guess we'll do about half and half. Doesn't really matter. going really slowly. Yeah. And then the diesel. That should be good as well. Shall put the cap on it. Just give it a little stir. And there we go. You have created an awesome product here for preserving your wood. Any any type of wood. Uh, I've even been known to use it on salt on on you know already salt treated wood, just because uh, I don't have a lot of money and if it'll buy me another six months worth of use. I'll paint it.
and that is it, man. Hey, this section of wood, hey, this one's done. This will last forever. You know, this actually this seems a little bit thin to me. Seems a little bit thin. The diesel was easier to pour than, than this was. So I'm going to change the ratio here and add some more motor oil. Uh, this is 10W30, so it's not very thick stuff to begin with. But the diesel does help it soak in. There have been times where I couldn't afford diesel. You know, I mean, this is, this is free. You got, to, you got to have this anyway. Keep your vehicles running. But those times that I couldn't afford diesel, I just used straight, straight motor oil and it works about as well. All right, let's get to painting. Don't really notice a major difference with that extra motor oil, but like I say, it was, it's a thin, a thin weight there. If you're wondering whether or not it actually works, I got, you know, I have proof, but, but like translating that, convincing other people is a little bit difficult because you don't know if I'm lying or not. But this trailer right here, the one down here, this one, I've had this 10 years. I made it myself. I made it specifically for my little uh, Festiva car. This, this thing don't weigh nothing. Um, but salt treated, plywood was too much money so this right here 10 years and i have i haven't put i haven't reapplied appalachian red maple in 10 years it ain't a thing wrong with it if it'll make plywood last regular untreated plywood just imagine what it can do to anything else i got my helper here crewman number six Although I guess if you're counting chickens and rabbits, it's more than six, but four of us and two cats. Quee! Quee, quee! Man, what the heck? Not really sure if this is better than painting or not, but I'll go with it as long as this uh, sprayer continues to work. So spraying it is also an option if you're a little less picky than than, than I am. Uh, you know, I really want that lower half to be to be strongly protected. You could just spray, you know, your chicken coop lumber or whatever lumber you might be trying to treat. Um, A pump sprayer would be a whole lot better though. My hand, my man, my, I got like a claw, you know? This is not as much fun as I was picturing. But it's absolutely doable. Hey, one dollar, right? You can't beat the price. And at the same time, I'm retreating my uh, little uh, trailer here. So, rock and roll. I just so happen to be treating pallets. And these, I think they, they are, they're already treated to, to at least a minor degree. 
maybe something similar to a landscape timber, but not a 4x4. But you could treat any type of lumber. Just make sure that it's dry. Uh, but you can do logs. You can do flat boards. I have even treated, treated 4x4s. Uh, not only does, does it add a little bit of color and, and, and make the grain pop, uh, but specifically for me, I have a tendency to use a lot of like, like, like pre-used wood, right? I would get a 4x4 that's already been in the weather for 10 or 12 years uh, and try to reuse that. And this is, that's what I did it for first, to try to get uh, that 25 life, that 25 year lifespan out of a 10 year old post. Uh, but if it's important, I'll do it to brand new 4x4s. And there you have it, right? It's that easy. And if you do it correctly, there are little to no, squeak. There are little to no negative effects, right? The, the, the key thing is to add a little bit of diesel so you get that added penetration into your wood. But also, it's crucial to let it dry out as much as possible first. All of this, this treatment is gonna get locked into these boards and stay there. There should be no no after wash, no wash off, no no uh, you know no environmental damage if you do it correctly. If you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. If you want to help support the project? There are links below. Until next time, here, Steve in the woods. This is Queek, crewman number six. Tell him Queek.